So good um uh good evening. I was um I was I was taking a a, a a a break kind of you know it was it is it is still festive season so I thought well let me slow down a little bit but um you know these few days that I've been sitting watching things uh, developing, I'm telling you, I've been itching to make comments on some of the things that have been happening. And um, I am quite concerned that um, uh, a number of us Zambians don't seem to be critical. We are not critical. We take whatever is thrown to us and we just, we just take it. I am, I'm very disappointed. You know, these few days that I've, that I've been sitting, watching things happen, I want to say that I am disappointed to see a number of people, including those that are educated, including those that are in opposition, those who are supposed to be alate, you know, just taking things, accepting things that don't really make sense, things which are very clearly prescribed even in our laws, that you can, you just have to read, you know, some of um, the, the pieces of legislation, legislations that we have. And you find the answers. And we are busy accepting. Why are we letting these guys to be cheating us so much? And we are getting comfortable. Please, please, open your eyes. We are being laid by punkas. We are being laid by crooks. We are being laid by, you know, people who are corrupt. They are embezzling this country. They are selling this country, and we are sitting there, we are even cheering them up. We even go to state house at no, we are celebrating, celebrating the removal of death penalty, celebrating uh, the defamation of the president. What nonsense! What nonsense! 
How can you talk about, you know, celebrating removing a piece of registration when the, this government is a, has clearly shown that it is a dictatorial government? This is a dictatorial government. And a government that is dictatorial, they don't consider the laws. They don't consider the laws. So what are you celebrating? Eh? Come on. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I will be discussing President Aka Inde Ichirema and the you know, part of his behavior and how he has been ruling. I'll be discussing that. But tonight, I want to quickly go to this issue of uh, Tabukawana. You know, Tabukawana, you know, Tabukawana thinks that Zambians are very naive. I hope, Tabukawana, you are watching. If this man thinks that Zambians are very naive. Zambians don't think. And to some extent, we have allowed this man to take us for granted. To some extent, we have allowed Tawukawana to bring his basic knowledge to make him think that he is so powerful, he's so intelligent, he's even boasting among his fellow uh, civil servants. Tawukawana boasts that he is, he, he is more respected, he's more liked by President Hakainde Ichirema, he's the minister. Tawukawana looks at himself in that ministry that he is the minister. Eh? He looks at himself like he's the minister. He has no regard even for that minister. And of course, like I'm saying, we can't blame Tabukawan. Because if you have a minister who cannot come even to TV and articulate issues, defend government, I mean, what do you expect? Tabukawana is the man that comes when things are hot. He's the man that is called in. So, to some extent, you can't blame the man to, for him to start, you know, um, exhorting himself as a minister, he was telling some people, some people were telling me that he went to parliament and he was boasting that he is the, the minister, he's the PS. He says nobody can touch him there. Everybody fears him in that ministry because he has a good relationship with President Aka in the And you know, that story, to me, it, I believe that story. I believe that story. Why? Because how many how many directors are going to that, uh, 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 what is it, a, a, a chan, Motors Cross, what is this, what, 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 Southern Cross, eh? How many directors are going to, to Southern Cross to get uh, motor vehicles for their new wives? How many are doing that? How many are doing that? Tabokawana is able to do that because Tabokawana enjoys certain preferential treatment because he's liked by the president. That's why Tabokawana can abuse the law. Tabokawana can abuse the conditions of service as a director in that ministry. It is total abuse. There is nothing. It's total abuse. It's, it's all corruption. That's it. There is nothing like what, what, what. That about that car, there is nothing, there is nothing legal, there is nothing straightforward. It is all corruption, it is all abuse of power. That's it. So don't take whatever Katabokawana, the lies that he was, you know, coming up to say, what, what, vehicle financing, which I'm entitled to, blah, 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 blah. It's nonsense. It's nonsense. It's all lies. He's lying. What Tabokawana is doing is corruption and abuse of office. That is what he's doing. And we Zambians are sitting there to be lectured by Tabokawana, to be fed with lies, and we believe it. We believe it. Some of you don't even have the shame to defend Tabokawana over that. You are not supposed to be defending Tabokawana. That is not something that he, any reasonable Zambian should be supporting a reasonable Zambian, a patriotic Zambian, must frown upon what Tawakawana did and the nonsense that he's giving us. We must be able to frown upon that. If you are, even if you are a praise singer, I'm telling you, you are a useless praise singer. If you if you can be supporting what he, uh, Tawakawana did, and if indeed there is. A, there is a news item that came out of, um, you know, one of the, the tabloids 
that uh, uh, Southern Cross uh, came out to start defending Tabukawan. Imwaba Southern Cross. Imwaba Southern Cross. I want to tell you, Muipele, mind yourself, do business and don't come into political crossfire. Don't come into political crossfire. That article which I read by the so-called spokesperson from Southern Cross, it's total nonsense. It's total nonsense. You are dragging that company, Southern Cross, into corruption of this government. You are dragging yourselves into corruption of this government. Because that statement that you brought out, don't think we are fools. We know. We know how this uh, vehicle financing should be done. We know. We received 34,000 uh, 34, 34, what, 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 is, what is that? What is that? The, we received 34,000 eh, dollars from, 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 from the ministry. Is that how vehicle financing is done? Does government pay cash when he, uh, you know they are getting vehicles for, for, the, for civil servants? Does, do they do that? They don't do that. It is paid in installment. So how come Tabokawana's money was paid uh, in cash? Eh? $34,000. How come Tabokawana's money was paid in cash when we don't have medicines in hospitals? We don't have medicines in hospitals right now as we are talking. People are not getting paid as we are talking. How come Tawokawana government is paying $34,000 to Southern Cross when we are lacking in, in other, other needy areas? We are lacking. So, Imwewa Southern Cross, don't bring yourself into politics. Pantunga tuambo kula minanda po every day, every day. Your company will be known locally and outside that it is dealing with corrupt people. And if you are dealing with corrupt people, it means your company is also corrupt. And I don't think there is any company that wants to be labeled to remember every day on social media to say Southern Cross Zambia is a corrupt company. I don't think you want that tag. I don't think you want that tag. This time around, there is social media. What is written on social media can mess up your company. Can mess up your company. These people that you are trying to defend, they will not defend you. They will not defend you. So this Tawokawana, now getting back to this Tawokawana, this Tawokawana has come gun blazing, boasting, yes, I've bought a vehicle for my wife, eh, because I'm entitled. Which entitlement, you Tawokawana? Which entitlement? Now we direct a wawuf. Eh? Now we direct a wawuf. What qualifications do you have to be a director yourself? What qualification do you have? How were you employed, first of all, as a director? How were you employed? Eh? You are the people that are reducing these positions, you know, in government. Making our Sambirira, people who are educated, who went to school, who have struggled, who have got experience, to look like, like boys and girls. It is very discouraging because you are just coming from a street and you go in at director, director. What director? You can't even sign a signature. Tawa is a signature. At director, director. Eh? Some of these things, I mean... We keep quiet, we don't talk, but when you start, you make us start talking. You are not qualified to be a director. You are not qualified. You are not qualified to be a director. Even when, you are, when, 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 when people call you director, what is it? What is Director Muntu was a Directors write application letters to be considered for employment. You are Tabukawana, can you even write an application letter? You can't even write an application letter. Eh? And you want na CV Tawakwatawakawana. You don't have a CV. You, you don't have a CV. Hey, I'm a government worker. Hey, I'm a director. I'm entitled. What entitlement? What entitlement do you have you? You don't have an entitlement. Tawakwatana CV. Tawakwata CV. Tawaishwa no remember application letter. Tawaishiva. So shut up. Akuriafia mumutaradira, not to cover today some kula to tonkola tonkola kumitima, 
Ule tunangisha na wagero wewe ya tiyo, my wife, my wife, my wife, my wife. We na tutongo la kumiti. Especially if wewe wamo na tutulipavu shimbe ya pata tuko etawa kashi. So imi tima shirevira uka sana wangu wangu. Eh? Shirevira uka wangu wangu. There is a lot of suffering. Tule chula kufin tui fing. Eh? Awa kashi wesu walevu. Tukala ime muya mkula isa mkutu wangu ya miyotoka tiye. Na di strong kashi wangu. Na di strong kashi wangu. Eh? Una teka nya sala. Iwe ta wuka wana. You are not qualified to be to be director in the for starters. And even this vehicle financing that you are talking about, you are not qualified. And I'm not talking at my politics. I'm following the laid down procedures. That's what I'm following. The laid down procedures, which, you know, now I want you to follow me very, very well, Mwema Zambians. Follow me very, very well. I want to tell you that. Velami Bepa, every time that you hear, Uam government, Alea Samuna Kanwa. You should look at the law. You should ask, what is the law? Which law is backing whatever is doing or whatever is saying? Who would take it about using the law? Governance, apple governance, yeah, should be like, even a president. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. No. When he's doing that, it is dictatorship. When there is no law that is backing, it is dictatorship. And that's why I'm saying, Waka in the HM and you are dictator because even employing Tawokawana, there is a laid down procedure on how a director is supposed to be employed. A director is not a presidential appointment. A director is not a presidential appointment. But because Waka in the HM and you are dictator, why they told us that Tawokawana, Vam Tolam Street, Vam Uka at director. Taishwa no Kulemba application letter, Taishwa. Taishwa no Kusaina, Taishwa. He can't even read these things. He can't read. Because he can, if he can read these things, he would not be talking the way he's talking. He would not be talking. So, the issue is, what is the law about this vehicle financing? What is the law? There is a law in that vo a fi a, a, a vehicle financing. And I want to tell you that this law did not come now. our Haka inde ichire ma a a. This law came na wa Edgar Lungu. Ni wa Edgar Lungu wa letereko. There was a time when Edgar Lungu, I can't remember which year was that. But it is Edgar Lungu that brought this issue of vehicle financing. When they saw that, look, we are spending so much money buying vehicles for government workers. So what we are going to do now, they will be, buy, they will be getting loans to buy their own vehicles. So this is not coming from Wahaka in the Ichirema. Like the way Tabokawana was saying, Tabokawana is saying, no, Haka in the Ichirema has brought it easier for government workers to buy vehicles. No, no. What Haka in the Ichirema is bringing is corruption, is theft. That's what Haka in the Ichirema is bringing. That's what Haka in the Ichirema is bringing. Edgar Rungu left a law. There is a law. There is a law. On vehicle financing. There are terms and conditions on vehicle financing. That is what uh, uh, Edgar Lungu left. But he mwa isawa ka wala la imu. Mwa isawa ka wala la imu. Mwa tampo kula iva. Mule iva. This is stealing. And I will prove to you that you are stealing. You are stealing from Zambians. What is the law? The law is that. Yes. A government worker. Is entitled to, uh, you know, get a vehicle on the so-called vehicle financing. As long as you can manage to pay that uh, for that vehicle with your salary, okay? So it is not everyone, but you should be able to pay for that vehicle that you get. You should be able to pay for that vehicle that you get within a specified period. And I think the most is five years. The most is five years. So if you if your salary is 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 big enough and they can deduct you know uh, my installments you can get that vehicle for a period of time. So the first qualification is that yes you must be a government worker getting a salary that can sustain the deductions. 
getting a salary that can sustain deductions. In other words, you cannot get a vehicle that your salary cannot sustain to pay within five years. Mungu mfikisha wino wino sana. Number one qualification, yes, you have to be a government worker. Eh, na watawoka wana, na wani wa government worker. Kana nguwa wa torelefe mustriti. Batu wa government worker, ifafine, kaini wa kainde ishe, mabali vengisha. So, ifafine, tia ntusumine, wa watawoka wana, ni wa government worker, ni wa director. Now, the question that we are going to ask is that, salary wafola, wafola shinga. Wafola shinga wa watawoka wana. According to my little research, these directors, they are not getting more than 20,000 kwacha. Ame ingiva fola ama 15, 16, 17, whatever, whatever. Not more than 20,000 kwacha. But anyway, let's just imagine that bata woka wana. Bafola 20 pin. Bata woka wana. Nga bafola 20 pin. Let's just imagine bafola 20 pin. Kuti vaya senda motoka. He can go and get a vehicle which he can manage to pay within five years. Out of that 20,000, such that Ngawachita didact Ngawachita didact Vata wana Should be able Should be able to go home with at least 8 pin 12 pin ya akuli motoka Mwamona 12 pin because it's 60% Wafida washana na 40% So in simple terms Salary yawo should sustain To be able to Ngawafu miyamo Oka kutiba shana kona something Ero you know, na moto kaila kutiba alipira within 5 years. Now, the question is, ili ya moto kawacha vata wuka wana wase ndiri, do you think his salary can manage to pay within 4 years? Because vata wuka wana, as we are talking, what is remaining is basically 4 years. Salary ya if you look at the value of that vehicle, and you look at the salary of vata wuka wana, if they are deducting, do you think vata wuka wana can manage to pay for that vehicle? The answer is absolutely no. It is not possible because Vata Wokawana, I know he doesn't get 20 pin. He gets less than 20 pin. And that vehicle, according to Southern Cross, but uh, 34, 34,000. 34,000, basically, we are talking almost to about 600. 600,000. 600,000, if you divide that, if you divide that by 48 months, Vata Wokawana will not qualify to pay for that vehicle. That vehicle is more expensive than the money that Vata Wokawana get. So Vata Wokawana on number one, according to Ndalama Wafola, he cannot manage to pay for that vehicle with the remaining period of his contract. He can't pay. That is number one. Tawokawana, this is a fact and I'm challenging you tomorrow. If it is not true, show us see, your capacity slip. Show us your capacity slip and show us the deductions to money if you can pay for it. You can't pay for it. I dare you, you can't pay for it, Tawakana. You can't. You can't pay for it. That is number one. Then number two, this vehicle financing. When you get that vehicle on, on in vehicle financing on loan, what happens is that that vehicle belongs to government. It is a government property and it is very clearly put down in these documents. Very, very clear. That vehicle belongs to government. The absolute owner of that vehicle is government until you finish paying for it. Those are the conditions. Those are the laws. And I'm telling you, I'm not talking about politics. Uh -uh. I'm telling you the law as it is supposed to be. Of course, Tawakawana cannot understand these things. Wamu Street, how can he understand? He can't understand. He can't understand. One street tabukawan. He can't understand. He doesn't know. I don't think he even read this. Ale sainaf. Ale sainaf. He's getting his uh, conditions. His precondition. Yako you know. He's close to waka in the HLM. Because waka in the HLM. Bala mumfa wino. Bala mumfa wino. To. To. You know. To defend uh, his lies. But. He doesn't qualify. So. It, the absolute owner is government until you pay the last amount, until you pay for it in full. Until you pay for it in full. So if, if that vehicle belongs to government, how is it that Tawokawana is boasting to say, no, I've got a vehicle for my, for my wife? Eh? 
How can he come out and say, no, I've got a vehicle for my wife? Because moto kaidi, nga waya ku Southern Cross. Pali na nikani. Vehicle financing. That vehicle remains a property of government. Even the white, even the book that it gets, it doesn't get a white book. It gets a red book. A government book. It belongs to government. It belongs to government. So how can you buy it for your girlfriend or for your wife? How can you do that? You can't do it. You can't do it. But Tabokawana has come out clearly. Eh? Move on, Tini Wawa Tabokawana. Eh, I've bought this one. This is the least I can do. How? You can't. You can't. You are already breaking the law. What Tabokawana was showing or showcasing, who to do? Ignorance. Ignorance and abuse of, the, of his office. You can't buy a vehicle on vehicle financing and give it to another person. You can't. Amafunde yakana. The laws in this yakana. You can't buy it and give it to somebody else. You can't. Because it belongs to government and it is very clear. It belongs to government. Now I know somebody will say, no, no, no. Yes, Kairi is the wife. Okay, the names and whatever, whatever. Uh, the names can be in government. But he, since he's the wife, he can be driving it. No. Since it belongs to government, all government vehicles, not anyone can drive them. It is again in the laws. A government vehicle cannot be driven by anyone. A government vehicle can only be driven by a, the person that bought it or a certified government worker or somebody who has been certified by government is the only one who can drive a government vehicle. So that vehicle, even if Tawokawana says, no, okay, yes, it is in the government, but my wife is driving it. Is she certified by government to be driving that vehicle? So you see what you see how I'm flowing that all this is who gosh, whatever Tabokawana was talking about. Have you seen it? Eh? Number one, it is it belongs to government. So if it belongs to government, there is no way you can give it to your girlfriend, to your wife, you can't. Okay, fine. Yes, it is my vehicle. So since it is my vehicle, my wife can drive it. No. Your vehicle, your wife cannot drive it because she's not government certified driver. So she can't drive it. The use is very, very clear on how that vehicle should be used. It's very, very clear in the terms and conditions. It's very clear. So there is no way Tawakawana can buy it and give it to another woman. It can't. It's not possible. It's not possible. It's abuse. It's abuse and demon amuikara pressing. No, it's okay. He bought it. He is entitled. Entitled. Kwisa. And you know, so these are the conditions. And there is something that is very, very important. Very, very important. Pandemi wati. Bale nibira. They are stealing from you. If you want to buy a vehicle, you and I, we want to buy a vehicle. Eh? We want to buy a vehicle. We pay tax. A lot of money. We pay tax. Eh? We pay a lot of money in terms of tax. But those vehicles are tax free. Are tax free. So, Tawakawana, instead of paying tax, he doesn't pay tax. But he, yes, they have given that because it, they want to empower government. The intention by Ed Galungu was to empower government workers. That's why they removed the, the, the tax. They waiver the tax for the government workers. So you buy it, but before you finish paying it for it, it belongs to government. But even after you finish paying for it, even if you buy it, you buy it cash or loan is, run, is running and then you get money from somewhere, you pay for it. You cannot change. You cannot change the name or the ownership of that vehicle. You can't. Because they are protecting the tax waiver that they have put on those vehicles. You can only change the, the ownership of that vehicle after five years. You can only change after five years. 
That's when you can change. Now that I walk away, but I'm not talking at all. It's for my wife. Whatever, whatever. How? How? It is not possible. If this is done, Wukuruku, they are stealing from Zambians. You can never buy a vehicle from Southern Cross or vehicle financing from PA, PSMD and change the ownership. You can't. You can only do so after five years, after paying in full. That's when you can do it. That's when you can do it. So what nonsense is all this about Watawakawana? Trying to tell us to say, I bought it for my wife and whatever, whatever. It's nonsense. And you, Zambians are agreeing. Eh? Zambians are agreeing. We should not be agreeing with this nonsense coming from these Wakawalalas. We shouldn't be agreeing. These are people who are busy, you know, pointing fingers at others. Hey, wali iwa, wali iwa. But wamambara, wale iwa. Na wuna waila, wale iwa. But they are busy pointing at their friends. Wali iwa, wali iwa, wali iwa. Wamambara, wale iwa. These are the ones who are stealing. These are the ones who are abusing. We didn't have this nonsense. We didn't have this nonsense during the, the time of Edgar Lung. We didn't have this. Did you see people going, you know, flashing out, no, I've bought for my girlfriend, uh, using whatever. Did you see that? It was not happening. It was not happening. It is happening. Because that's how they are. They are busy pointing at their friends. They, they had this agreement. A number of people went and got vehicles. But up to today, some of them are still paying for them. Some of them, they have finished paying for them, but they have not been able to change the ownership. Their wives and their girlfriends are, are not touching those vehicles. Imovata woka wanamwa is from the bus station. Ati, I've bought it for my wife. Total nonsense. This government is, is, a, is a government of punkas. It's a government of punkas. And I pity, you know, the technocrats that are in government because this is very discouraging. This is very discouraging. Now, we saying all this, my question now goes to the cabinet, a, a, a secretary to the cabinet, but Dr. Patrick Kang. But Dr. Patrick Kang, when it just the other day I was sitting here and I was saying, yeah, wait. Appoint by Patrick Kango. And indeed, I don't regret campaigning for you. Saying yes, appoint him, appoint him. I don't regret. The issue is, the issue is, this nonsense is happening. Before your nose, Imanishwa Patrick Kango, you haven't seen these things. Eh? You haven't seen these things. Why are you not guiding these, these, these excited, eh? excited fake directors excited fake directors why are you not guiding them these are people coming from the street guide them this is these are the people that you Bahaka in the hlm was boasting about to see you will see my team this is his team Bahaka in the hlm he was boasting you will see my team you will see my team the first one that they showed us you know the face of government this, this is my team. My team, my team. Eh? At my team. You will see my team. So, Patrick, you need to help these people. You are the custodian of government property. You are the custodian of government. These politicians, they just come and go. They come and go. So you have the responsibility to protect our assets and not allow these cadres to do whatever they want. That vehicle doesn't belong to your girlfriend, Katushinga, your wife. It doesn't belong to, to your wife, Tabukawana. It doesn't. It belongs to government. It belongs to government. You have to wait. You have to wait until after five years. 
until after five years, that's when you can change the name and give it to whoever it is. If he, she will still be your wife, you or she will be your girlfriend, whatever it is, you can give to whoever you want. For now, that vehicle belongs to government. It belongs to government. And if I become president tomorrow, that vehicle belongs to government. It doesn't belong to your wife. It doesn't. It belongs to government. She should not even touch it. She should not be driving it. We know the number plate. We know the number plate. When we see it being driven by your wife, we will hold you responsible on top of the abuse that you have already done because now we have to see, we have to investigate this Southern Cross because Southern Cross is saying they received $34,000. We want to find out how is it that government paid $34,000 when the money is supposed to be paid in installment, what arrangement was there for them to pay cash to Southern Cross? To Southern Cross. When it's supposed to be paid in, in bits, how come? Imoba Southern Cross, can you explain how you know you were paid cash? Because you are supposed to be paid in installment, not cash. So how come you are paid cash? But nonetheless, whether you are paid cash or whatever, whatever, that vehicle belongs to government. It belongs to government. It can only change the name after five years. It can only change after five years, not now. This, these are the laws. These are the laws. Not if you are to FN, if you are if you are No. That is not that is not the Zambia we want. That is not why you were elected to be to be in, in government, to come and abuse, to come and punk us, to come and cheat us. No, that's not why you are elected. So stop the nonsense, Mairo. Kairi, you, 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 you think you, you are so intelligent and so whatever, whatever. Tomorrow, show us your pay slip. You and show us your pay slip and show us the 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 the, the book the ownership of that vehicle show us that it is still in government uh, it is still a government property show us and we should not see that woman driving that vehicle we shouldn't she will be breaking the law unless you show us the competence certificate that yes government has te has tested her that she's competent to drive government vehicles that is when we will agree otherwise mulima kuruk Otherwise, you are just crooking us. You are abusing the law. And one day, Mukashana Perete, one day Mukashana Perete, over some of these things that you are doing. Because you, you enjoy, you could have to become myself. One day, I'm going to be able to become myself. One day, I'm going to be able to become myself. One day, I'm going to be able to become myself. Over such kind of things. Mwanza Isaac had shared their, shared their agreement. I will, I will share it. I'll share it. Uh, I'll share. I'll share. I'll share it so that you can you can you can read it. I will share it. I'll share the agreement so that you can read it. You can you can understand it. I know, but tabu kwa na tawa veringa no kuveringa. Tawa veringa no kuveringa. Eh, atwa direct. Atwa direct. Direct. You can't even read one paragraph. Atwa direct. So that is the nonsense. We need to open our eyes. We need to be open to open our eyes. Don't allow these people to get away with criminality. There are so many things that they are doing, which we need, you know, to talk about. I will come and talk about uh, soon. I will come back and talk about uh, where, um, F, is it FQM? I will talk about that, but that is for another day. But today, I also want to talk about this issue of this issue of death penalty, death penalty and the deformation of the president. In this government, I mean, they are celebrating that, no, eh, we have removed the death penalty. And yet, in this government, they have shot so many people. They have shot so many people. And you know, honorable, Eh, ndiko live. Na, na asuka fe pantu ni mwe wana limichindi ka mwarishi wafi. <laughs> eh, na alamu tume. Thank you.
At no, they have removed death penalty. They have removed death penalty. They have uh, removed the defamation of the president. Since this government came into power this year, only this year, at least just a simple Google search showed me that these police officers, they have killed 16 suspected criminals. And I say suspected criminals. And the number of instances, I'm not just talking, about, it's not that I'm, I'm siding with criminals, no. I'm not siding with criminals. But you see, when the police are going to uh, kill people, they must be reasonable cause for them to do that. But a number of times when these people have been killed, I'm really wondering how these people were killed. The last time that they were talking about that guy, Yango guy, eh? at Yango, at they went to Shan Shani, then he ran away, then they shot him. How? What? How? What happened? At no, he was handcuffed. Then he started running. Imamwevantu, can a person who is handcuffed outrun the police? Sure. Eh? Can a person who is muma handcuffed outrun the police? At no, the vehicle had developed to forty. Then how? No, no, no. Then there is another one. Idea di kuchinga ni kuna nikani kukopa belt. They said they killed, they killed four people. Eh? Was it four people, that one? How many people are those? Those people that they gunned down on 21st November in Chirirawombwe. They killed five people in Chirirawombwe. They killed five people. And you know what they said? They said one criminal had an AK-47. An AK-47. They were six. And one had an AK-47. Now, they killed those who didn't have guns. And the one who had an AK-47, they said he ran away. So imagine we have five bodies which who are not even armed. The one who is armed, at, he ran away. So can you think about it? If you just think about six people, how can six people... You know, start running. Matamko kuhutuka. One has a gun. And those without guns, they are shot dead. The one with a gun is not shot and he runs away. How? And no one, they didn't arrest anyone. But they killed five people. My brothers and sisters, I, I insist, I'm not supporting criminality. No, I'm not supporting criminals. But the issue is that no one is guilty until proven so by the courts of law. So we should not get excited just because no, we have killed suspected criminals. We should not get excited like that. These are human beings. These are Zambians. Some of them with families. Some of them with families. We are all entitled to justice. We are all entitled to justice. If you are getting excited, one day they will come and shoot you. Innocently, they will come and shoot you so. And they will label you a criminal. They will come and shoot your own relative. They will come and shoot your child. These police officers, if you are going to allow them to be shooting people like animals, it is not right. And that's why for me, I am not excited about this abolition of death penalty. Because you are killing people without taking them to court. I would rather you maintain it, but people are being taken to court. Not the way the people, are, the, the, the police are killing, are killing uh, criminals. It is just not right and I don't understand why. Because this is too much. It's more in one year, Mwaipa went to 16. This is a country where you are saying you have removed the death penalty, but you have killed 16, 16. And this is, the, this is the number that I could get within a short time that I did the research. I know people are dying in my cells. The other day I was just being told, Ababa Central Police, they beat up somebody in my cells, died there. People are dying in my cells. Police are beating people to death. And you are getting excited that, no, let's go and drink tea. Let's go and pop champagne. 
President Daka Indeichirima has removed death penalty. And yet people are being killed without being brought to court. This is not the kind of celebration that you should have. Open your eyes, Zambians. Open your eyes. Yes, in the eyes of the, the, the public, Nakuba Sungu, yeah, yeah, government is, uh, this government is upholding human rights. But what is happening underneath is something else. Right now, let's go to any of these cells, any cells. Kabien Pachirenje, go and see how many people are there. And how long they have stayed there. Go at Central Police right now. Go at Central Police. I can challenge anyone to say, take me to Central Police. And see how many, how many days they have stayed there. See what they are eating. See how many have been beaten. Tortured. People are being tortured. And you want to celebrate at no abolition of death penalty. It's nonsense. It's absolutely nonsense. Me, I, 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 I don't accept it. I don't accept it. I don't accept it until you start respecting human rights. Until you start respecting human rights. Otherwise, human rights is very, very poor. In any way, in cells, it's very poor. Just that, I mean, I'm a human rights activist. What do you expect? Eh? Baraura meet a human rights activist, a human rights commissioner. What do you expect? What do you expect? Eh? Baraura meet a human rights commissioner. Eh, eh, Kaliba to Aquata, Muzambia. So, I mean, Zambia is not Papa. I'm telling you, Chalo Chesuichi. Let us look after each other. Let us care for one another. Let us care for this country. Don't just be comfortable because it is not happening to you. You are comfortable. No. Because when it will happen to you, you will cry. Prevention is better than cure. Speak out when something is wrong, wrong is happening to the other person. It is an opportunity for you to talk about it so that it doesn't even happen to you as well. Because when, 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 when that happens to your friend, next it will be on you. They say, Chao na muzako chapita. Mawa chilipali iwe. That's what they say. So you can get excited because somebody else, yeah, they have said he's a criminal. How? Uriyo wa mayango. How dangerous was he to be shot in cold blood? Uriyo wa mayango. How dangerous was he? Atale bukinga mayango. Eh? Without paying. Are you telling me that warrants that man to die the way he died. Eh? These people that were killed, Kuchirila Wombo, five of them. How did they kill? How did the police shoot them, honestly? How? Eh? 4th November, six gunned down. Eh? Yeah, this is the fourth number. This is the one I'm talking about. Mm? In Lusaka. Another one, Kuchirila Wombo. Eh? Four in Indola. 30th, this guy, the one that they shot recently. Then those that are being killed, killed, Muma sales. No, 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 no. It's not, it's not acceptable. It's not acceptable. And Nami Papa, please don't take life for granted. Don't be shooting people like animals. Don't. There is something wrong. There is something awfully wrong with the police that they are killing people in this manner. Me, I don't accept it. If yes, the police are in danger, yeah, fine. Not where they are saying that Jumunto was handcuffed, but we pile. How? Eh? At six people, five killed, eh, six killed. Who could them fight about it? Ah, Tafile Panga says there is something wrong here, and this is what we should be looking at. Eh? Then you are talking about this defamation of the president. Hey, defamation of the president, they have removed it. They have removed it, but they will be arresting us. In, I'm not even excited. They will be arrest, they are arresting us. The day that they were popping champagne past the state house, at, they have removed defamation of the president. There was this man, uh, um, Alec Piri. Alec Piri, I think I need to play them. I need to play so that you can you can hear who I'm talking about. So that you, because some of you, that um, uh, Alec Piri, you will not understand. Let me give you the let me give you one of the voice notes. 
so that you know who I'm talking about. He was arrested. Eh? This Alec Piri, he was arrested. Therefore, I'm going for Alec Piri in there and up. Never move from that way. He's a he's a familiar for those of you who are Panamanian. He's a familiar guy. He was he's he's actually still Muma sales. He's Muma sales at your head speech. Muma money for the change. But me up at your defamation of the president at now head speech. Eh? Whatever he said, I don't understand where head speech is coming from. This man. Have you heard? Umai wa wa ndwa kuiste ni provinsi Ulanda wa lamuriro kwa haka inde Waoneka So imalemba Na inu wa ndwa kuiste ni provinsi Kalani wa ndwa kuiri zana Umai wa ulanda wa lamuriro Lipo Hichile maziko la mkanga Lipo nso Ndawe oti Tibwelele mu lamuriro Ndawe ya oneka kare Inu wa ndu Oh, some pass a chance, Agaide. This man, what you could read, got to call the president, I mean, and there was I believe the moment to go in Funico and Dera, Naga in the Uyo. Pari Berero, I mean, Anga Umberaga in the Manja. Massiva Saint Vansi, Sanga Umberaga in the Manja. Rantuamba, Sanga Umberaga in the Manja. So to go, Zan, the good oh. Hichile manari munda amena marangula kuhino kwa opposition kwa mwola murilo wa mkanga Paribanga tuse kubalu Hichile ma wakango wa murila ziko So imawe mba nonse mene murili kumigodi Imo... So that is the man I mean I, I can see a number of people are saying uh, Andrew Piri, uh, Nixon, whatever, whatever Piri But anyway, this is the man that I'm talking about This man was arrested and he was arrested because of this voice note he was arrested because of this note because according to him, he thinks Haka Inde Ichirema has failed. He's saying, basically, what basically he's saying there, Haka Inde Ichirema has failed. Haka Inde Ichirema's mind has, is on the standstill. He's failed completely. That's what he's saying. And he's saying, the, the rest of you, this is your opportunity to take over government. That's what he's basically saying. And he's entitled to, see, to his opinion. He's being arrested because he's telling Haka Inde Ichirema that Haka Inde Ichirema has failed. But what have they charged him? They are, they are charging him at a hate speech. For what? So there are other laws that this government, this dictator government, will use. And sometimes they will not even use the law. Me, I've been detained a number of times. Do they follow the law? I've been detained. You know, eight days you are inside. Do they follow the law? They don't follow the law. So there is nothing to be excited about. Some people are calling me. Ah, you should be happy. They have removed defamation. Of, I know about Mambala, but they will come. They will always find something, you know, to pin me down so that I stop talking. They will find something. So don't even get excited to go and dance at your defamation of president have been removed. They have charged him here at hate speech, but because they don't want to release him, they, they want to take him to, to, to Chipata also. They are saying, no, he's needed in Chipata. They want to take him to Chipata. The Mindera, so maybe in this time, Ushukai, they like moving people in the night. Maybe this time they are even moving him. That is how dictators work. Dictators don't look at the law. Dictators don't look at the penal code. Dictata, dictators are there to fix people. That's what they do. It's about fixing people. It's not about the law. So there's nothing to be excited about because when you talk about, you know, removing the, the, uh, the death penalty, this government is killing more people than any government. More people than any government. And yet they are the ones who are saying they are removing the death penalty. But under their leadership, they have killed so many people. So far, 16 people that you can easily count. That you can easily count. Those reported. But there are so many other people that are dying. Muscles. 
there are more people that are dying under the leadership of President Aka in the In terms of this defamation of the president, they will use other means to fix us. To fix us. Some of us we know. In an additional that's why I'm ever ready. I know that Waka in the wants to fix me. Some of you you can even say, hey, tuka kaka, tuka kaka. I'm not scared to be cuckered, no. I'm not scared because I talk the truth. If I'm a criminal, I would be scared. But a person who talks the truth, why should I be worried? My God will be there to vindicate me. My God will be there to vindicate me. And Mukarada wa fende ingiro kumule nkaka na imo mulefwa. From nowhere, mwalwala feka pishinga ni finishinga ma bipi mwalwala mwafwa. Because God is there. That I strongly believe. In a zikuti mwa ndonga na mwini 10 years na alisa ena mdara. Nke ingira nka fuma. Nga kunjipa, I will die when God will say, now you can go tayari. But otherwise, if God has not said it, inshita yowe tayari afika. To the one sepa no. Na mailo tukawa one sepa press conference. Mailo, I'm going to have a press conference. I will be talking about other things. For now, I basically just wanted to address these, uh, these issues. So the issue of Tabukawana, put it aside, it's total nonsense. It's an abuse of office. It's corruption. Vehicle financing, the way it works, Tabukawana, first of all, doesn't qualify because I don't think his salary can manage to pay for that vehicle. Then number two, even if he manages, even if he manages, that vehicle is supposed to be a government property. He cannot give it to his wife. Okay, even if it is, he, he, it is a government property and it is his the wife cannot touch that vehicle because the government, the, uh, she's not a government certified competent driver. She can't drive it. So if she's driving it, it is abuse of the law. And even if she wants to, give, even if Tabokawana wants to give it to the wife, the ownership of that vehicle cannot change until after five years. Because those vehicles are duty free. And because they are duty-free, you can't just convert them. You can't just convert them into somebody else. for other people without paying, uh, without paying um, you know, tax. So, that's pretty much what it is. So, Tabokawana is lying. And this Southern Cross, Muipele, don't bring yourself in the crossfire of politics. Stop lying. Whatever statement that you made, you are basically implicating yourself because we know that vehicles are supposed to be paid in installment. How come you nobody me pay cash? What is the arrangement? Take corruption in your number. You are being corrupt by Southern Cross. If indeed that statement belongs to you and uh, that is what is obtaining because it is not what is stipulated in the law. I am not excited to 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 to, to celebrate the death penalty because. This government is killing more people than any other government in the history of this country. Many people have died at the hands of the police. And the human rights, because they are not doing anything about it, which is such a pity. Which is such a pity. Deformation of the president, I'm not excited. Because people, like I've given you an example, somebody is already inside. They are not following. They will follow you. They will arrest you. They will do whatever it is. Even without the law, they can do whatever it is. Pretty much, this is what I, I wanted to, to bring out tonight. Tomorrow, I am discussing the performance of President Hakainde Ichirema. And I've got a serious concern, a very serious concern on President Hakainde Ichirema. But I will discuss that tomorrow at 10 hours um, you know, at our offices. Please, journalists, let's be on time. Me, I like to start on time. Ten hours, we should be able to start. We will also uh, broadcast the, the press conference uh, on this page. Thank you very much and good night.